Hi everyone, welcome to another Autodesk screencast by Zonta of Repo Products. This screencast will showcase the analytical model tools within Autodesk Revit 2017. If you like this video and would like to see more, please search for Zonta or VAR2016. Thanks for watching. Here I am in Autodesk Revit 2017. Under the Analyze tab of the ribbon, there is a panel called Analytical Model Tools. These tools here give us the ability to take a look at the analytical structural model that's created as we create our structural model in general. I'm in a 3D view, and the default 3D view I have it set to be wireframe so I can see through everything. You can also go just to the analytical model 3D view and you can see that data as well. I like to show it for the purposes of the physical 3D geometry context. Let's take a look at the analytical model tools panel and the tools that we have. The first one is called Adjust. If you select this, it opens up a contextual panel called Edit Analytical Model. And in here, we can adjust walls, openings, analytical links, and then finish and cancel. For example, if I click Wall Adjustment, it allows me to select an analytical reference of the wall and associate it with another one. So for example, from here to here. And it will physically move the analytical wall so that it meets and adjusts properly. A second one is called openings. If I select this command, it allows me to check or uncheck wall openings for being part of the analytical process or not. If they are checked, that means it's looking at that opening and it's um, helping with the analytics structurally. If I uncheck it, it will think that there is no opening right there. You then have analytical link. And what this allows you to do is select an analytical point node with another analytical point node and it will physically put in an analytical link as well and the reason we do this is because there may be situations where uh, a member is somewhat um, apart from another member and there's a, a gap and you can make that adjustment if you need to you can click finish when you're done or click cancel and the changes will either be saved or not saved the next is reset. Reset is when you want to tell the software all the analytical adjustments that you've made. If you click reset, it takes it back to its defaults. You can then click support, check support members, and what this does is it looks at the structural support system and tells you if there are any warnings. If there are, it'll display down in the lower right hand corner. You can click this little dialog box and it'll open up the window. You can expand this and take a look at each warning. And if necessary, you can click it and click show, and it will cycle through from one view to another to help you to see um, where the issue is occurring. You can also export this information out for further use down the road. And then lastly, you have the consistency command. And if you click this, it will check for the analytical to physical model consistency. In other words, how does the analytical model jive against the physical model? And again, you'll get that little dialog box. You can click the little icon and it will display the warnings. And then you can select it and try to get more data out of it. Uh, if there is no warnings, it'll say it's complete with zero. And again, you can export that data. And that's a good quick look on the analytical model tools within Revit under the Analyze tab of the ribbon. Thank you very much for watching. 